A nurse practitioner is an advanced practice registered nurse. In this video, we will go over what they do, the job market for nurse practitioners, what kind of money they make, and the top industries and metro areas. Coming up. Hey everybody, my name is Stephen Hack and this is Career Watch, a YouTube channel helping you with your career search. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and we also have interviews. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give us a like to support this channel. Nurse practitioners work independently or in collaboration with physicians. In most states, they have the ability to prescribe medication, order medical tests, and diagnose health problems. Nurse practitioners often specialize, focusing on children, pregnant women, or patients with specific disorders. They can serve as primary and specialty care providers. A registered nursing license is required before becoming a nurse practitioner. In most states, nurse practitioners earn overtime when they work more than 40 hours a week. This is one of the biggest advantages to being a nurse practitioner. Usually every hour worked over 40 hours a week, the wage would get multiplied by 1.5. Or in some cases, if a nurse is working a lot, they can earn double time or if they're working holiday pay. This also depends on which state you are working in. This is a huge advantage that few other occupations have. Lawyers and doctors both work many hours and they are not compensated for time that they're working beyond 40 hours a week. The wage statistics that I am including later in this video do not include overtime and they do not include bonuses. They just include the base salary for a nurse practitioner. Next, let's take a look at where nurse practitioners tend to work. 47%, the vast majority of nurse practitioners work in physician offices. 25% work in hospitals. 10% work for outpatient care centers. 3% work in non-physician healthcare offices. And finally, 3% work in education. Despite the vast majority of nurse practitioners working in physician offices, this isn't actually the most lucrative area for them to work in. Outpatient care centers pay nurse practitioners the most with an average wage of around $117,000 per year. Hospitals are next and pay nurse practitioners around $114,000 per year. Non-physician healthcare offices pay them around 112. dollars Physician offices where the vast majority of nurse practitioners work pay around $108,000 per year. And finally, education pays the least with the average wage around $101,000 per year. Next, let's take a look at the national job market for nurse practitioners. Nurse practitioners have seen pretty solid job gains since 2012. In 2012, the government recorded 105,780 jobs. Just six years later, in 2018, the government recorded 179,650 jobs. So over just six years, the number of nurse practitioner jobs rose by 73,870 jobs. That is quite a lot for just six years. So there has been really solid job growth gains for nurse practitioners from 2012 to 2018. The next question is, will this continue? Next, let's take a look at the government jobs forecast for nurse practitioners. The government is extremely optimistic about the future job market of nurse practitioners. The government is forecasting a 28% job growth for nurse practitioners from 2018 to 2028. There are very, very few occupations growing this quickly. The average occupation, on the other hand, is expected to rise by 5%. Demand for nurse practitioners will continue because of our aging population. Nurse practitioners can perform many of the same services as physicians, and they are much cheaper. Hospitals trying to cut costs are relying on nurse practitioners more and more. And not just that, states are also changing their laws to allow nurse practitioners to perform more and more services. There are many more reasons why there will be a greater need for nurse practitioners in the future. Next, let's take a look at what nurse practitioners earn nationally. In 2012, the average national wage was recorded at $91,450. By the year 2018, the average national wage was recorded $110,000. $30. So nationally, wages rose for nurse practitioners by $18,580 over just a period of six years. Finally, let's explore which metro areas are best for nurse practitioners. The average national wage is around $110,000 per year, but certain metro areas actually pay much more than this. So here are the top five highest paying metro areas for nurse practitioners with an appropriate number of jobs. Number five is the Bridgeport, Connecticut metro area. There's 460 jobs, and the average wage in Bridgeport, Connecticut is $141,460. Number four is the Melbourne, Florida metro area. There's 410 jobs, and the average wage in Melbourne is $141,800. Number three is Vallejo, California. There's 150 jobs, and the average wage is $145,400. Number two is the Spokane, Washington metro area. There's 380 jobs, 
and the average wage in Spokane is $148,440. And the highest paying metro area for nurse practitioners is the San Francisco, California metro area. There's 2,100 jobs, and the average wage is $150,790. This is staggering $40,760 above the national average. But one flaw is that the San Francisco, California metro area is extremely expensive. Becoming a nurse practitioner isn't easy. This is a great occupation with high pay and lots of job opportunities. Are you interested in becoming a nurse practitioner? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time.